too. The General Hall has been receiving a lot of visitors lately. The yearning for history and art has reawakened in the hearts of Bellabagians, thanks to your superb management. You know, I never guess you'd become a pro at this job. I only wanted you to experience the fun of working here. So I'm curious, how do you like being the museum manager? I know, right? And it really gives you a sense of accomplishment. Anyway, there's something else I wanted to talk to you about. There's been a new development in the museum theft case. First, I need to show you something. Here, this way. After the General Hall opened to the public, the Silvermane Guards and Wildfire did a follow-up investigation in the Underworld. Progress was really slow, but they managed to hunt down some new clues. If the next stage of the investigation is successful, we should be able to open up the Industrial Hall to the public. And here we are. The item that's supposed to be in this exhibit is a modern sculpture called Gears and Wisdom. It's a little hard to describe. Sort of... abstract. It's made of gears and mechanical parts, and it's about the same height and weight as the average person. Basically, it's too heavy for someone to just pick up and run off with. As you can see, this sculpture was placed at the entrance hall of the Industrial Hall because it symbolizes the industrial spirit that Bellabogians have lived breathe and produced for centuries. Without it, the industrial hall loses its soul. We have to retrieve the sculpture before we can open to the public. It seems we'll have to make another visit to the underworld. It took nearly 20 years from design to completion to make gears and wisdom. We can't let all that painstaking work and talent go to waste. We have to get it back. I received some intel just earlier today. Someone said they found clues related to a gang of thieves in the Underworld's robot settlement. I don't know if they'll lead us to the sculpture, but it's worth a try. We can head over to the robot settlement as soon as you're ready. Let's head out then. Hmm, there's quite the crowd here today. Where do we start? Huh? Ah, you mean the little girl in red? I remember her. I saw her in the overworld at Lady Branya's succession ceremony. I don't know if she can give us any leads, but it's always good to say hi to a friend. Basic courtesy, right? Ah, it's Big Sister. And Miss Pelagea Sergeyevna. You remember my full name? This kid is really something. Nice to meet you, Clara. What brings you to the robot settlement? Well, something strange happened in the settlement recently. I'm asking the grown-ups who live nearby if they know anything about it. Something strange? Can you share any details? Well, recently, a lot of the little robots in the settlement started behaving strangely. It's like they malfunctioned suddenly, all at the same time. They started roaming around, breaking into people's tents, destroying their belongings. It was a real headache for the people living here. Mr. Sparrow scanned the robots for irregularities, but the results all came back normal. So... I don't think it's a hardware issue. So they're malfunctioning collectively. Hmm... <sighs> You're right. Since we're already here... Clara, we'll help you investigate what's going on with the robots. Really? But don't you and Miss Pale have something important to do? It'll be fine. We have other people in the Underworld working on the investigation, too. Besides, we don't have any clues yet, so we may as well do something useful. Ah, thanks a lot! I was worried about handling the robots on my own, but with your help, it should be easy. The duty of the Silvermane Guards is to serve the people. So where can we find these robots? 
Claire, can you lead the way? Of course! Just follow me! Look! Over there! There's definitely something wrong with that robot! It looks normal enough on the surface. Let's take a closer look. Wildfire and the Silvermane Guards were never able to find Gears and Wisdom. Keeping such a conspicuous piece of art around wouldn't go unnoticed. The thieves must have disassembled it and hidden the parts inside the robots. But the best laid plans of snow mice and men often go awry. They didn't realize the parts would interfere with the robots' systems and cause them to run amok. Now we just need to find all the malfunctioning robots and retrieve the sculpture pieces one by one. I'm afraid so. But you'll have Clara and me to keep you company. I'll do my best to help, too. Let's get to work, then. We're going to get all the stolen pieces back. The grown-up said that the spot where the malfunctioning robots appeared is in... this direction. Let's go look over there, big sister. You took the bait. Time for a buzz. <laughs> I'll free you from your- Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Don't mess with who's next. Now time. Time for a buzz. <laughs> Robots in this area should all be back to normal now. We also got some parts of the sculpture back. It's not a lot, but it's a start. Let's start looking in the next area. One. <laughs> you took the bait. Time for a buzz. <laughs> This is double speed. Who's next? Naughty child. What a headache.
can I have fun this time? Time for a buzz. <laughs> Don't mess with me. I'll end your misery. Time next time. <laughs> Who's next? Looks like we rescued all the robots in this area, too. <sighs> this is taking longer than I imagined. At this pace, it'll take us the entire day to fix all these robots. Uh, I get what you're saying, but... All right, all right, I give up. That sculpture has dozens of individual parts. There's no way we'll recover them all at this rate. We just need enough parts to put it back together. <laughs> As for the rest, I'll have replacements made. But... You have to promise to keep this a secret. You too, Clara. Don't worry. I'll keep your plan super secret, Miss Kayla. Thanks, Clara. Let's get on to the next area, then. Shh. Keep your voices down. It's a big one. Uh, I guess that's true. Oh, poor little Grizzly. There must be a lot of sculpture parts jammed inside. Uh, let's go give him a checkup. A while. Well, let's leave him be. Miss Pela, here's all the sculpture pieces I found. Good work, Clara. Let's see here. We still don't have anywhere near enough. To be honest, I'm a little worn out myself. I know. How about we go talk to Mr. Spara? Uh, he might not be able to round up the robots, but I'm sure he'll have some good ideas. Um. I've never met Svalrog before. I heard he's not easy to get along with. <laughs> Don't worry. Mr. Svarok has warmed up to guests a lot more now. I'll explain the whole situation to him. Here, this way. Huh? Is Mr. Svarok talking to other children? That's not usually like him. I wonder what's going on. Clara, you have returned. And you have brought with you the Outsider and... Querying Database. Silvermane Guard Intelligence Officer Pelagaya Sergeyevna. It is a pleasure to meet you. It's nice to meet you, Mr. Svarog. Hey! Pixis Clara's back! Big Sis Clara? Hello! What brings you two here today? These two young humans found a suspicious batch of components. They wish to deliver them to me to earn my appreciation. However, the origin of these components is unknown, and they have no practical utility. It is difficult to ascertain their value. Suspicious components? Can we have a look at them? As you wish. Sure enough, these parts are from the museum's sculpture. These kids found way more than we did fixing all those robots. What an embarrassment. Me and my sister were playing outside, 
We heard some grown-ups talking about what they were going to do with the parts. It seemed suspicious. They were acting a little sneaky. We hid in the shadows and waited until we heard them snoring. And then, and then we quietly dragged away the boxes with the parts in and, and gave them to Mr. Svarog. That was really risky behavior. If those grown-ups have woken up, things could have gotten really dangerous for you two. We were just trying to help. Oh, what? Uh, don't cry. Uh, listen. These parts don't belong to Mr. Svarog, but you two were still a big help to us. I am unable to determine the logic behind this series of events, but if you insist, excellent job, little girl. See? I told you Mr. Svarag had warmed up to guests. Really? So, we were a big help, weren't we? Awesome! With these parts, we should have enough to put the sculpture back together. More or less. This isn't good. If what those kids said is true, then the museum thieves have operatives working in the settlement. Now get in touch with the wildfire and the Silvermane guards right away, and have them investigate the matter thoroughly. But for now, let's take the parts we have back to the museum, or we'll be here all night. I'm really happy that I got to help you and Miss Pela today, big sister. Even if it was by accident, people in the settlement have been smiling a lot more these days. And that makes me happy too. I hope me and Mr. Swarov can make sure it stays that way. And if we ever get the chance, I want to show Mr. Swarov around the overworld. Did you hear that, Jackie? Mr. Svarog said nice things about you. He... he said nice things about you, too. Look, from now on, we have to do good things only. That way, we can become Mr. Svarog's most trustworthy... Um, uh, second most trustworthy friends. After Claire, of course. Uh, uh, okay, I'll do my best. Welcome, outsider. What brings you here? Did you arrive at such a conclusion through direct observation? Clara too has conveyed similar sentiments, though my emotional indices have not experienced any fluctuations. If you and Clara have both reached the same conclusion independently, then there must be some force influencing my behavior, which transcends my system's algorithms. This possibility strikes me as peculiar, but not necessarily bad. how much work this was going to be, I would have enlisted more help. But see the final product for yourself. Not too shabby, is it? Well, as long as you don't pull out the blueprints and spend dozens of hours comparing, this version is virtually indistinguishable from the original. Excellent work! With Gears and Wisdom back, the Industrial Hall can reopen to the public. If you're still interested in managing the museum, why don't you go talk to Miss Eris about opening up the Industrial Hall? In the meantime, I'll follow up on the exhibit theft case. I wonder if any new clues were found over in Svalrog's domain. I'll let you know if we get any new leads. I have a hunch that we're close to uncovering the culprit behind the curtain. <laughs> 